Okay, this is day four, food wrap-up for the starch solution diet after my juice fast. And uh, it's amazing how important food is for me. I mean, it is, whether I acknowledge it or not, you know. And, and for most people, whether they acknowledge it or not. This uh, v Chew on Vegan that I watch on YouTube, she says, what goes on your plate determines your fate. And fate in a big capital letters, you know, whether we want to admit it or not, or really, you know, pull on that string to see how food affects all parts of our lives, ultimately, especially our health and the way we feel and our opinions about ourselves. So I started out this morning and I uh, didn't sleep real well last night. I got up and I had time for to make pancakes and I made them, which were made with oats, um, oatmeal, uh, banana, uh, oat milk, a little vanilla, a little salt, a little baking powder, I think. They came up really nice. They fried on the nonstick skillet on the frying pan and it turned out really good. I sliced up a couple of strawberries and I had it, the syrup I used was frozen apple juice. And they were very satisfying. I had two, I still have enough for one left over in the refrigerator and I had a little coffee and that was perfect. And then I meditated and I had to go to this church lunch. Uh, every first Sunday we have a, a potluck and the, the church also provides, you know, like today was hot dogs. They provide maybe ribs or pizza. I, the, people bring dishes. And so I this is the first time I brought a dish. I didn't even realize that this was a thing that just regular people in the congregation did. And I didn't have much food in the house and I didn't have that much time. So I, I did have carrots and I had kale. So I I took some ghee and I sauteed some carrots and kale and put a little date sugar in there just because that's the only sugar I had really. You know, I, I should have used regular brown sugar, but I didn't have anything. I just had that um, brown sugar substitute. So I used a little date sugar and um, I didn't even taste it, but I'm sure it was good. And I went down, we had church, and then um, I went out to the car afterwards, and I went out and got it, and I put it right at the front, like right at the front of the line. Like there were hot dogs, and then there were a couple of dishes. I put it right in there because I knew if I didn't get first crack, you know, nobody would put it on their plate. And the reality is very few people did. Very few people did. So I took down with me some pasta with nutritional yeast on it, and I cooked. I heated it up in the microwave. And then they had a, there was a little vegetable salad that looked pretty good. It was just all veggies and some kind of a dressing, but um, didn't look too oily. So I had some of that, and I had some coffee and, that I had from before. And I, we had a really nice time. I talked to some singers, and you know it was a real nice sociable time. And I I did it legal, and I was so happy I did. Um, and then. As we left, I had all these vegetables left over, and Gary's having dental problems right now. He can't chew very well, so he didn't want to take these vegetables. And I can't eat them because they have ghee in them. So I brought them home, and I threw them out. And I felt really bad about it, but I knew even if I froze them, it would probably be a year before I ate them. And Gary's not going to take them because he doesn't like, like used kind of food. He's not big on leftovers, so I just had to throw them out. It was organic carrots, organic kale, good ghee, date sugar. But, you know, it's hard to find people to eat your leftover food, so that was the end of that. But when I got home, I had a vegetable salad, like a real nice spiralized zucchini, cabbage, peppers, tomatoes with a nice light dressing. And um, I made up a tortilla with some melted cheese, baked cheese with... Um, uh, like a hot relish and some suriachi. Boy, was that good. Oh, that's right. I had a picture of it. I was going to um, put up on the, maybe I will, uh, put up on the uh, YouTube. But anyway, um, it looked really nice and it was really tasty. So I had that. And then afterwards I had, uh, a little bit later, I had tea with, uh, I took three little of those legal chocolate chip cookies. I put them in the air fryer to just kind of crisp them up. Because they're a little mushy, not mushy, but they're not like crisp chocolate chip cookies. 
and that just took a little of the moisture out of them and I had them with a cup of tea and it was really good. So then I was doing this and that, meditating and doing different work and this and that. And um, after meditation at night, I had some peas. I love peas. Just uh, boiled some peas and I fried up, you know, not fried, but in the nonstick pan, um, browned up some uh, just shredded potatoes and made like nice shredded potatoes and then I took cheese sauce heated it in the oven and I had like cheese potatoes and and uh, shredded sh sh no cheese peas and potatoes all mixed up and put some sriracha on it it was really good and then later I had some uh, some of that uh, mousse which wasn't quite as creamy as it was yesterday because it's it's um it's basically just tofu with sweetener and chocolate and it, it you know but it's fine it's very tasty you know and that was it that was it you know now I'm having a Reed's Zero Soda so it was a good day for food I'm very satisfied I'm eating a lot which is not unusual but when you do all the substitutes and you do everything legal it's not really about how much you eat um, you know you just don't want to become an eating machine but you can eat to satisfaction it's just that you're not getting the fat and uh, all your sugars are low glycemic so it, it I've done it before it works out you know it's just one of those diets that if you stick with it you get good results so that was my day four and um, you know really enjoying it um, I love those pancakes in the morning boy that were good and uh, so much of what I had, I really, really enjoyed it. When I looked at that lunch at the church, it's like everything that was on that table. And there were probably about, you know, 15 different items, including cupcakes. And everything was anti this diet that I'm doing on. It was all illegal foods. Hot dogs with rolls and macaroni and cheese and cupcakes. I mean, I didn't even really look. I didn't, I looked at everything that was on the table, but I, to tell you the truth, I didn't like investigate what it was. It all looked kind of fattening, you know, <laughs> everything looked fattening. And um, it is fattening. And the people there are fat, lovely people. But, um, you know, a lot of people there are overweight. So that was it uh, for my day. I was successful. It takes a little of a navigating and planning and throwing food off, out that you're not going to eat. And, but I had a good day, and that was day four of my April starch solution diet, 2022.